As we told you moments ago, Southern New England is remembering the attack on Pearl Harbor 77 years later. Ivan News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with this local coverage. For two veterans who served in the Navy during the Pearl Harbor attacks, today is about honoring the thousands of lives lost and reflecting on the resiliency of our armed forces. It's these words spoken by then President Franklin Roosevelt on December 7, 1941, that our country will never forget. A date which will live. In infamy. Today's ceremonies commemorating the 77th anniversary of the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor brought together family and veterans to remember the attack that launched the United States involvement in World War II. 98-year-old Freeman Johnson, a crew member of the USS St. Louis, was honored at a ceremony in Battleship Cove in Fall River. Johnson remembers where his ship and crew were when the first bomb went off. We were in the Navy Yard, but we were at the end, which was lucky. If we weren't, we wouldn't have been able to get out. We just had a job to do it. The importance of reconciliation with Japan was a common theme among speakers and how far our countries have come since Pearl Harbor. In North Kingstown, 94-year-old veteran Bill Clark and his son Edward reflected on the impact the attacks made on their life and our country. Clark was just 17 years old when the attacks happened and now he is a humble man of few words. Just happy to say I'm here. Both ceremonies today had re Langs to honor the thousands of lives lost that tragic day, and all 18 ships were destroyed and 2,400 Americans were killed. In the control room, Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.